today, you know, we, we have kind of changed the way we think about vacation. We want to get there now. We want the fun to start now. Can we get a direct flight? Can we check in early? Can we go directly to the beach? Can we get into the park an hour before everybody else gets into the park? We want it to start right this second. See, it's all become about the destination. But see, when you do that way, when you think of your vacation as, I got to get to my destination, the thing is you miss what's between here and there. They say travel is, is broadening. They say travel broadens a person. It does when you stop at Stuckey's. <laughs> or when you stop at every Dairy Queen along the road. Travel can be really broadening. But the way we travel now tends to be more flattening when we're in such a hurry to get to the, the destination. We miss what's along the side of the road. You miss things like uh, going through towns with, with funny names. So I went through Arkansas a few years ago, and we came to a town called Flippin'. And I didn't think about it until I started seeing the names of businesses. There was the Flippin' Baptist Church, <laughs> the Flippin' High School, the Flippin' Hardware Store, the Flippin' Masonic Lodge. I thought, what a great name for a town. You miss stuff like that when you skip from here to your destination. You miss the fun things along the side of the road. I'm a sucker for those things. The cheesier, the better. You tell me there's a motel where every unit is a concrete teepee, I'm there. I will spend the night there. I will go miles out of my way to sleep in a concrete teepee at the Wigwam Motel. You tell me the world's largest ball of twine is just a few miles off the road I'm on in Cawker City, Kansas? I'm going. There it is. It's so big they had to build a roof over it. And it made me think, you know, these roadside attractions, the one thing that appeals to me about them is, is this represents somebody's vision. Some farmer one day was in his barn and said, look at this big ball of twine. Where did I come up with all this? I wonder how big this ball could get. And so he starts saving twine and winding around. And, and by the time it ends up like the size of this picture, they have to use tractors to turn it with so they can wind new twine around it. Well, I went to the world's largest ball of twine. That's right. <laughs> I did it. And after I saw it, I can't say that I was inspired to write an opera about it or that it made me want to make some drastic change in my life, but it did show me there was somebody that had made a commitment there. Somebody was committed to something and spent a lot of time on it. I like roadside attractions that show somebody's obsession, their mission, their vision. 